we discussed about matrix addition matrix subtraction matrix multiplication and i also showed something uh, about application of matrix operations right and i told you in the last class that i will show you one problem and i will uh, do this in front of you so that you can understand clearly how the uh, solution can be done by using matrix operations so this is the question you see and here p it is written 2 p's 4 a p's 7 l okay so p means professor and a p means assistant professor and l means lecturer so read the question try to understand p professor ap assistant professor and l lecturer now read the question i'm giving you two minutes time So, is it okay? Have you read it already? Have you read it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What What do you understand? Is it clear to you? Sir, can I yes, say? Can yes. I say? yes, yes. Sir, like you said, that university has two professors for assistant professor and seven lecturers in math department. And Yes, continue. Are you saying more things? Okay, so let me show you how to do that. Okay. <coughs> By matrix, you will solve this problem. You will show how to do this. So I am making one matrix, one matrix with the number of faculties now. So it is two and four and seven. These are the three numbers P, A, P, L, and this column is for mathematics column. Second column is for the statistics column. So it is three, three, and eight. So in the second column, you have three, three, eight. First column, math, two, four, seven. This is the matrix. What you have the number of faculties in two departments now and in the next that is uh, i have underlined with blue color in the next month there will be more people joining so two ap and two lecturer will join in the math department and one AP that is assistant professor and two lecturer will join in the uh, statistics department and this is the information given there will be no new professor there will be no new professor now if this is my matrix two column two row this will not work with the original matrix because if we want to add then we have the we need to have the same structure okay so zero professor means we need to put zero here zero professor in the math department zero professor in the stat department so this matrix will be now 
in the same structure, same number of rows and columns. Now you can add together. So if you add together, the addition will be very, very simple. 2 plus 0, 2, and 3 plus 0, 3, and then 4 plus 2, that is 6, and 3 plus 1, that is 4, and 7 plus 2, 9, and 8 plus 2, 10. So this will be the result after addition of two matrices. Is that okay? Do you understand this thing? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is the first question. This is the first solution. Now I am telling you another thing and I'm writing you in the orange color on the right side. If someone writes the matrix, first matrix, like 247 is not the column. 247 is not the column. 247 is the row. First row is the mathematics department and second row. Sorry, is sir. The... My internet went down. Sorry, sir. Okay, no problem. It's okay. So we are continuing. And if my question is if someone starts writing the matrix like this that is first row is math department and second row is state department and uh, he, he or she wants to solve this problem like this now what do you think will it be all right or it will be wrong all right sir it's all right, Very all right. It will be all right as long as they also fix the second matrix. Okay, good. So it the same way. Okay, good answer. So it is possible uh, that someone will start uh, answering the question like this. And the condition is the second matrix also has to be in the same way. Right? So good, fine. Very good. So you can understand. Now let me go to the second question second part of the question is another calculation and in this case uh, they are not saying it, it is plus or minus okay just matrix operation so we know addition addition subtraction multiplication uh, these are the things we have already discussed and inverse we will discuss today that is also matrix operation so inverse will not be included here because in this question we know only three things so actually for the second part we use matrix multiplication so how we are using multiplication here in this case they have given another information that is 9 12 and 15 these are the working hours that is class hour per week for uh, professor, assistant professor and lecturer. That is one professor takes nine hour classes in a week. One assistant professor takes 12 hour class per week and lecturer takes 15 hour class per week. So this is the number of hours and we know how many faculty members are working in the university in two departments. So you can just multiply with the number of hours and then uh, number of persons so that you can get the total number of classes, total hour of classes. Okay. So I am writing the matrix like this, 9 and 12 and 15. And I am multiplying this matrix by the quantity matrix. This is the number of hour matrix and quantity matrix, uh, new quantity matrix. That is 2, 6, 9 is the first column. New quantity means after joining the persons. So this is the matrix on the right side. And now I can multiply. So if I do the multiplication here, then I can get the result like you know what to do uh, you will come from the left side and go right and then come down 
okay with the uh, first column in the second so 9 into 2 9 into 2 will come right and then 12 into 6 so you will write 9 into 2 uh, sorry and then plus uh, or do I need to write all this no maybe directly I can write 18 it is yes, your, yes 9 into 2 is 18 and then plus 12, 12 into 7, uh, 12 into 6 is 72. 72. Yes, and then 15 into 9, so 135. Okay, and then put a gap, put a gap because you will do the same calculation for the next column also. So you will now calculate uh, 9 into 3, so 27 and then uh, 12 into 4 so 48 and then 15 into 10 so 150 so these are the calculation and now you can go to the uh, next part next part will be just two numbers so one number is 225 you can check the summation uh, second number is also 225 okay it is just a coincidence okay anyway so we are getting two answers now uh, tell me anyone can uh, anyone can tell tell me what is the first 225 what is the meaning of this first 225 what is this actually Anyone can answer what is the meaning of first 225? Sir, so it's uh, working or for the math department. Yes, by all the faculty members. Okay, and what is the second 225? Sir, the other department. Sir, sir, the working hour of statistic department. Yes, by all the faculty members. So, so this is uh, the understanding. You understand? It, is that clear? It, yes. It is done. Sir, I have a question, sir. Yes, yes. Uh, ask me your question. Yes. Sir, the weekly hours are written in row wise, and yes, the fac and the professor is assistant professors and lecturers numbers are written in column wise. Column wise. So it it doesn't match. Does so. Yes, so what is your question? Sir, so we can write it, write the weekly hours in rows or <coughs> because the format, the formats are different for two metrics. Okay, so now come to your question. Shaun is asking something and tell me now if, if someone uh, writes the first matrix like this one that is uh, what is written inside the what is written inside the green green border you understand my point what is written inside the green border if someone makes uh, the matrix like this then what will happen about the uh, second part of the question who can answer how you can do the second part of the question if someone writes the matrix like the uh, thing I have written within green border but it should also be in the row wise not in the column wise yes and Arijan Kitu Butsila Another person sir, is saying something. Yes. Ita, ita. Ita okay. Yes, sir. So, uh, Shawan, do you understand what they said? Shawan, do sir, you my question was the weekly hours matrix are written in row format, row wise, I think. And uh, 
yes sir মানে বলো এখন তোমার কোশ্চেনটা ক্লিয়ার হইল না তো তুমি যে কি কোশ্চেন করতে চাচ্ছো স্যার আই হ্যাভ দ্য সেম কোশ্চেন স্যার আই হ্যাভ দ্য সেম কোশ্চেন ইন দ্য সেকেন্ড পার্ট অফ ইন দ্য সেকেন্ড কোশ্চেন ইউ রাইট দা ওয়ার্কিং আওয়ার্স ইন দা রো ওয়াইজ এন্ড দা teacher list in the column wise mm. so that if there is the row wise then we should also write the second matrix in the row wise that's the question why should be yes, sir, that was the question of it will op opposite from first row sir. yes sir you must not extra row or extra column you have to you have to recall the system Sir, of it's kind of impossible like the second one because the, i mean i mean i am likhe already tumi ta pore yes, dekh i mean dekha pore bolo i have already written so uh, this way you can calculate this way you can uh, do the matrix multiplication for the second part i mean if you write the first matrix uh, like i have done then you write 9 12 15 as a row because the multiplication system is like this multiplication system is you have to start from the left side and you go down okay this is the direction so hey, yes sir you have yes, to sir. follow this direction i, I exactly yes I exactly sure. wanted to explain it the same thing. Like the thing you you kept it on the yellow border. Like there are two two rows, and and for the second one, like you multiplied with the an, another matrix which which has only one row. So it's kind of impossible to do the calculation for that. And what you did on the for the second second math, and, and it's actually. Go go through the law of the multiplication. Like the column, the uh, row should be equal to the column. So you just kept it equally for both for the second right. math. Right. So you you are saying uh, this calculation is okay, right? But, yes, sir. But if you if you use nine, twelve, fifteen here. as a column then it is not possible is it the thing you were saying uh, he, he, yes sir okay so in this way we cannot write because the multiplication rule does not apply here so yes sir this is not used now come to the yellow uh, part in the yellow part what we are doing if the first matrix is written uh, by two rows for two departments then we have to write uh, the our our matrix as a column so that we can do the calculation here so it will go like this okay and then come down it will go like this and come down so the calculation will be possible So, sir, while oh, doing sir. multiplication, we hmm. have to maintain these multiplication rules and write uh, write in a way that the multiplication can be done. Yes, yes, that is my point. Uh, okay, that is okay, that sir. is the thing I want you to understand. Okay, sir, got it. Okay, now how you are writing your matrices? That is up to you, but. you have to follow the matrix operation rules right okay matrix uh, if you understand this then you can apply your knowledge okay okay sir if there is any gap or limitation in your understanding then you will face some problems okay so okay. this is one example we wanted to uh, discuss here and uh, uh, if there is no question then i will move to the inverse i will move to the inverse topic is it okay can i erase this now yes, yes sir. sir 
Yes, sir. Okay, so let me uh, erase this board and then uh, start talking about matrix inverse. So again, in the previous way, uh, if you want to do the matrix inverse, uh, there is a precondition. There is a precondition. Okay. So what is the precondition? Precondition here in this case will be two actually. So first thing is uh, the matrix uh, matrix has to be square matrix. Okay has to be a square matrix okay and second condition is uh, determinant value has to be non-zero maybe plus maybe minus but it is non-zero so what does that mean uh, i i will explain now and then you will understand so this is the condition like like addition subtraction it is the condition for uh, inverse so <clears throat> the first thing is very simple square matrix you already know what is a square matrix so for square matrix number of rows and columns will be same same so this is the square matrix say uh, we are writing a square matrix on the left side okay so say this is four uh one three two so this is the square matrix and it is possible that we will do the inverse of this matrix so another condition is there that is called the determinant determinant means it is like the same matrix but just only uh, the vertical line will be used and not like a bracket and that determinant will have a value value is very simple uh, it is like 4 into 2 so 4 into 2 uh, 4 into 2 it is 8 and then minus and then 1 into 3 so it is 3 so 4 into 2 means 8 and it is 3 so altogether it will be 5 so what we are doing this is the multiplication first this is called major diagonal. Diagonal means kuna uh, kuni. Okay. So major diagonal is top left corner up to the bottom right corner. And then this is the minor diagonal. So major diagonal first, then minus, then minor diagonal. This is the way we find out the value of determinant. So determinant value will be non-zero. Let me give you another example, then you will understand it better. So another example is, say I am writing one matrix. It is again two by two matrix because we want the square. So it is like two, then five, then uh, three, then four, like this. So if this is the matrix, and then what will be the determinant determinant will be same same number just same position same number we write everything same but not the bracket we use only vertical line straight line so this will be called determinant and determinant will have a value so how the value will be calculated it will be 2 into 4 and then minus 5 into 3 so altogether the result will be 8 minus 15 so minus 7 and the same way what is the uh, technique the technique is major diagonal first and then minus the minor diagonal so this way you can calculate the matrix determinant value okay matrix does not have a value okay we careful matrix does not have a value all numbers are different different meaning but if you use the determinant then that will have a value and determinant is always square determinant is always square same number of rows and columns so uh, let me uh, give you another example which will can be we try three by three 
yes you can write 3 by 3 also it is also possible so uh, i'm not writing it now why not writing because i want to finish the inverse with 2 by 2 first okay, okay. Uh, so 2 by 2 inverse is easy because the matrix is small and 3 by 2 inverse is also possible i will show it to you later okay so i'm now writing another matrix in the purple color and in that you see uh, not equal sign sorry not equal it is the determinant of that matrix and the determinant will be the same number four two six three and you will find the value and then the value will be four into three twelve and two into six also twelve so twelve minus twelve so it is zero now you uh, get another example for what inverse is not possible for this for this uh, inverse inverse is not possible for this inverse is not possible why not possible because the matrix has a determinant and the value of the determinant is zero okay so this is the condition is that okay do you understand up to this part yes sir okay now i will explain how to do the inverse for uh, two by two matrix all these are two by two matrix if it is three by three then you have to find out the value of determinant also and do something uh, for finding the inverse and that will be a little complicated little big so i will do it later so let me just show it to you for two by two matrix first okay and uh, this uh, the last example it is not possible so we are not doing this okay uh, let me just erase this part then we will have bigger place and we can do this easy okay so i will do the second example later let me do the first example first okay so this is the matrix given let me give you one name for that so let us take uh, let us write a just name is a this is the matrix given and it is a and what we want actually we want to find out inverse of a inverse of a will be written like a to the power minus one that is called inverse of the matrix a okay so now to find the inverse of a we are finding determinant of a first okay so determinant of a it is already uh, i mean done here so you can write the vertical line then a it is called determinant of a and sometimes you can also write like det det is the determinant so small letter not capital d small letter determinant and then bracket then a it is also writing style for determinant of a so this is the determinant and the value is five now we proceed with the next part so next part is what next part is to find out the a inverse a inverse is equal to the formula is one divided by determinant okay one divided by determinant of that matrix and then i will change a little with the matrix that matrix will be changed a little so what is the changes how we will do the change so this is called uh, re rearrange okay rearranged uh, matrix okay. two by two matrix definitely it is possible for two by two matrix only if it is uh, big matrix if it is three by three four by four then the uh, system will be changed it is not the same system okay now i am showing how you rearrange this matrix which is two by two we already know that given matrix is two by two small example we are doing first okay so now i am showing you how you will rearrange this thing you already know the determinant value so put this value here one divided by five because we already know determinant is five and then rearrangement will be done in a way 
you change the you change the major diagonal numbers you change the major diagonal number so what is the major diagonal number four and two we are changing the position so two is coming up in the fourth position and four is coming up in the two position so they are changed with the position major diagonal number and the other numbers will be exactly same other numbers will be exactly same same position but it will be negative it will be minus both so it is minus three and it is minus one that is the rearrangement okay so what is uh, we are doing actually we are doing the negative uh, negative minus that is negative one it was originally one so negative one and then it was originally three so negative three so we are doing these two things one is changing the position of numbers in the major diagonal and the second is we are putting minus sign for other numbers but not changing the position same position same value just minus putting okay now you can uh, multiply all these numbers by four uh, by uh, uh, one by five why one by five because one by five is in the uh, outside so you can do the calculation by sir. one by five yes uh, sir can you please again explain why there is minus sign before one and three please okay there is there is no uh, there is no sorry it is not one sorry there is no specific why answer not why answer this is a working technique this is a working technique that is what we are doing we are doing the inverse of matrix and mm -hmm. to do that we have to follow uh, the steps so what is the first step first step is finding the uh, determinant value and what is the second step you will one by divide the determinant value and then you will rearrange the matrix in this way so the question comes how we will do this and uh, then i am uh, telling you you will do the rearrangement like you will uh, change the position of major diagonal, diagonal. values okay. and then you will put the minus so if you uh, if you tell me uh, why it should be done then uh, i will answer in a way if you do not do this the inverse will not come okay it is like that so uh, this is how we do the calculation and you can find out the answer like this here and uh, not necessarily you will multiply all the numbers by one by five it is your choice you can keep it uh, outside or you can do the calculation with all the numbers inside matrix so both answers are same so this is the a inverse the final answer a inverse is this now let me uh, show the same calculation for the blue color matrix also and let me write this name is b the matrix name is b and we are finding the b Sir. yes so yes sir i can send us a on the a parents uh two into me sir now your question is not clear okay tell me again mustafa shakil sir i agree yes sir তোমার কোশ্চেনটা কি ছিল আবার বলো হ্যাঁ আমি তোমার কথা ভালো শুনতে পাচ্ছি না সেই জন্য বুঝতে পারি নাই হ্যাঁ সেটা বুঝছি ওকে সো মুস্তফা সাকিল তুমি আবার ভালো কানেকশন হলে সুযোগ পাবে আবার বলো ওকে so let me let me just show you quickly the inverse of the second matrix also inverse of b that is b inverse and i am writing 1 divided by minus 7 i am doing it uh, quickly okay 
because you already know what is the determinant value so minus 7 is the determinant value i am putting this here and then i am changing the matrix now tell me okay bolo ke bolte parbo what will be the change sir 4 Four two, right? This four. is the first thing you do. Yes. Yes. And, and then, then minus five. Minus five. Minus three. Minus three. Exactly. Exactly. This is correct. So this way you rearrange the matrix, two by two matrix, and then one divided by minus seven. Then fine. This is the inverse. That. Akon tome bhito re minus one by seven dia gun korte paro nau paro eta tomar bepar. আর এইটা করলে আমাদের বি ইনভার্সটা বের হয়ে গেল এখন দ্য থিং ইস ইফ ইউ ইফ ইউ জাস্ট ডু দিস এটা তো টাইম হবে না মনে হয় জাস্ট আমি দেখাই টাইম না হলে পরের দিন দেখাবো ইফ ইউ ডু দ্য ক্যালকুলেশন এ মেট্রিক্স ইন টু দ্য এ ইনভার্স মেট্রিক্স দ্যাট ইস আই এম ডুইং দ্য মাল্টিপ্লিকেশনটিক major major diagonal major diagonal will be all one and other numbers will be all zero so this is called identity matrix it is called identity matrix and identity matrix is uh, something like one identity matrix is something like one amra number er khetre jeroko one boli ei identity matrix ta one er moto ekta matrix okay so amra eta dekhlam ebong ekhane 2 by 2 that means if you have two rows two columns then you will call this mane tumi i likhte paro ar sathe 2 diye dite paro so what is i2 i2 means identity matrix with two rows two columns okay so if you want to write i3 then i3 will three be column, three, three row three column and it will be look it will be like it will look like 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 